Hey guys, Zogi Sanchi and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the new card system and share with you some points and tips and tricks and things and just show you overall how easy it is to use and just to get a better understanding for it if you are a newer player and you're not actually sure what to do with the cards, what's better and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are interested in figuring out all there is to know about cards, stick around for the video. But before I get into that, if you guys like my content and like all the stuff I do on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much and I appreciate every single one of you beautiful people. So without further ado, let's hop into it now, shall we? So how to get to your cards? You could just press Alt C or you could just come down to the bottom here. We'll just open like that and then this is what the cards will look like. And when you actually learn cards from your inventory, they all go over here. So if you go to the Enhance tab, you can see all the cards you have learned. Early on, you actually will have pretty limited uh, card space. So you got to expand them by spending blue crystals. I believe it gets more expensive as you go along, or it might just be 50 all the time. I'm not sure. I've expanded it more times than I can remember. So that's why if you are a newer player, you want to hold onto the cards. You don't want to open them all straight away. Keep them in your bags or your inventory or your bank or, or keep them on other alts or whatever because you can put them in roster storage and trade them between them. Put them in your pet's inventory as well. If you click on your pet, you got a pet inventory over here. You can fill it up over there with cards. You can put cards in this bank, your second bank. So store them and only open the ones that you know you're going to need. So which are those? We go to the encrypt tab, which is over here. The field boss is used to be the best set for newer players because it just gave you HP. It was really easy to acquire. You get a lot of these. And you could eventually get crit from it too if you did 18 piece awakening. I would not suggest uh, awakening these at all because you only really be using them early on. And if you're a support as well without the, any of the other support cards, it's a, it's a good starter set for supports as well. But I wouldn't awaken these because that 2% crit is not worth it. I just did this as a meme back in the day because I actually ended up getting this crit rate before I got my Lost Win 12 crit. That's how bad my luck was with the cards. So that's a meme over there. Don't awaken these. I wouldn't suggest it. You might think that this card XP is a lot, but 2.4 million card XP goes really fast when you start uh, awakening cards and things, especially later on once you start getting into the the damages over here. You actually start leveling up cards just to get these little damage bonuses to all kinds of stuff. So demon da damage, elemental beast, all the kind of things. But that is so complicated and much later down the line that I'm going to leave that to a completely separate different video from now. This is just understanding the basics and the new card system being this little thing of yeah if you click this little icon it's going to track them so when you actually get cards and stuff you'll be easily be able to tell if it's a card you are tracking for some set that you need so all you got to do is click this little thing before it used to pretty much be the little favorite button but now you click this and whenever you get a card like that you'll see that little symbol so you'll know hey that's a card i'm tracking for one of these sets so i should go ahead and open it up learn it so i can then awaken the rest of the cards so you want to come in here if you're completely new player you want to mark all of these field boss ones because you'll be using that one. And then you might as well mark everything while we are. So Light of Salvation, you want to mark them all. This is the best endgame card set right now. And then later down the line, we'll move to a different one. And we come down Guardian, we don't need any of these. Deep Dive is actually a very good card set. What I am trying to use right now, I'm still missing a few pieces of yet to actually get it fully maxed out. But at plus 30, this one actually gives you plus 12% damage. So that is more than the 18 piece Light of Salvation, which gives you plus 7% damage. However, it does change your damage to Holy Damage. So you got to make sure that you know which bosses are weak to Holy Damage. Right now, I believe only Vicus gates 2 and 3 and Brelshazzar gate 4 and some other gate in Brelshazzar. I can't remember exactly which one, but the easy way to tell is they'll show you on the thing. Let me show you guys what I mean by the thing. Guardian raids. I know there's a Guardian weak to it. Night Fox is weak to Holy Damage as well as Volganos. So if the bosses have that little symbol, you'll see the boss's health bar. And then underneath the health bar, there will be that little symbol with the weak to Holy. If so, then the 18 piece Awakening is better because Light of Salvation changes your damage to Holy Damage. And going with the correct elemental damage boost gives you actually 10% damage increase. So if you are fighting a boss that's weak to holy and you have Light of Salvation plus 12, that's automatic, automatically a 10% increase to damage because you now all of your attacks are doing holy damage and that the damage effect gives you an extra 10% plus then the 7% of extra holy damage. So with plus 18, you'll be getting plus 17%. And then if you move up to the plus 30, it will be the, what's it, plus uh, 7 and 8 put together is 15. 
So 25% increased damage. That's quite a lot of ex extra damage. But for every other fight, deep dive um, plus 30 is actually better. Because this will give you plus 12 damage to everything. So it doesn't change any of your elemental damages. It just gives you flat plus 12 damage. As you go up, they see at 12 piece, it gives you plus 4. At 18 piece, it gives you another plus 4. And then at 30 piece, it gives you another plus 4. So once you max this out, then you will get plus 12% damage to everything. So actually overall it's a better general use of using the new deep dive set this is a new set by the way over lighter salvation 18 but that again is for another video and for me to go like test it out and do some stuff on there but as long as it's not a holy boss then the deep dive set is better especially for newer players because this is a lot more obtainable you need to get uh, all all of these maxed out so these five maxed out and then you need to either get a Zenana maxed out or both or so that could be quite a little bit uh, difficult for newer players but you should at least be able to achieve the plus 18 awakening so it's already going to give you eight percent damage which is really good and then it's going to give you all elemental damage reduction as well which is also pretty nice because the other set i believe lighter salvation is like dark damage so that's only dark damage you'll be taking less of whereas over here it gives you all elemental damages reduction so dark light water frost whatever there's all the elements you'll be covered on that front so deep dive i would say for newer players even for players like myself i'm about to try and get this one to plus 30 with the selection packs that i have left over and then maxing out this guy and it's actually going to give me more overall damage than my lighter salvation which is only at plus 18 obviously once this does get to plus 30 it's going to be better then because it's 15 percent instead of the 12 and then it's the holy as well so whenever it is a holy fight it's plus 25 so you want to be aiming for lighter salvation but a good starter set now deep dive for new players you have a plan is for supports as you can see there once you get it over there personal and party damage on foes plus 0.5 percent so once you max that out at 30 it's going to be plus 1.5 percent that's the best uh, support card that you could have now before you get your lost win set which are going to go a little bit further down the line so Lost Wind over here is another good starter set, which used to be the basic starter set for everybody. You want to get this to plus 12 as it gives you 7% crit rate. So if you get lucky and you get that one first, then that's a good set for you to use as well for a DPS. As a support, it's only good once you get it to plus 30. As you see, it increases your personal and party holy damage on foes plus 3.5%. So obviously again, holy damage, most people are going to try and get their lighter salvation leveled up. So that over there is the best in slot support. I believe it stays like that until we get the dark damage stuff later on down the line. Yeah, Lost Wind set. So you definitely want to mark all of these that I'm talking to you guys about. Mark the Lost Wind set by clicking these little things there. And then you'll see where they actually pop up. If you get one, then you'll know you can go ahead and learn it. Especially early on when you have limited space. <clears throat> so Lost Wind set, mark that all up. You have a plan, mark that all up for supports. Uh, deep dive, you want to mark all of these as well. This is the best intermediate card set i would say before you get light of salvation plus 30 even plus uh, 18 that's better than plus 18 if you do have this one at at least plus 18 as well so there you go ahead and mark that up and then you want to mark up light of salvation only those four really for now the other stuff is a lot more there's a back attack card set but that's a lot more like in depth and specific to uh i believe iso war dancer and maybe some form of a striker i'm not sure probably striker as well but again that's very specific and this is just overall card set and stuff so let me show you guys how you actually get these cards that's a big thing over here obviously you see all these different cards you're like okay cool how do i get them so as you, when you actually scroll over them you see they do show you the exchange udia wandering merchant or rapport or card deck desolate blah 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 but if you hold in control and you right click on them you can click on see info and then just brings it up a little bit more direct as well I mean you could just read it off there but just to just to bring it up in the codex so exchange udia wandering merchant and rapport from the guy over there the rapport will only give you one card if you max them out or whatever point it is in their rapport you get it to that point i'll give you one card but then the exchange wandering merchant is the biggest thing i do have a website for you guys let me show you over here lost merchant i'll link it in the description of the video you put in your server whichever server you're on and you select your server there I'm actually give you the timer of the wandering merchants right now nobody has found them it is like 11 30 in the morning on monday morning i believe so people have to actually find these and then report it to the website and then it should pop up here eventually where the location is of them so east lutera i don't believe any of them was the one we're looking for there 
but there's the names of them if you want to go look at what they all do specifically you could go to max roll as well they also have a wandering merchants guide with all the one i believe i even have a wandering merchants guide on my channel so go check that out too if you want to see more stuff about them but the main thing to take from this is anything with the wandering merchants is very easy to max it out so if you just have it up there the wandering merchants website on the screen or in the back background or whatever so you can alt tab to it just remember every couple of minutes 20 minutes or so 30 minutes they rotate you go and camp the wandering merchants you get all your cards you can easily max out a card in a couple of days maybe a week or two and it's very easy to get that done as you see there this one is wandering merchant wandering merchant wandering merchant wandering merchant even he is wandering merchant which is really good because he's a purple usually purples are a little bit harder to get but apparently he is from the Arthentine Wandering Merchant. I don't know how accurate that is. I can't remember seeing him there. But we got to believe it. It says it in-game. So for now, we will believe it. So we wait for the Arthentine Wandering Merchant to show up. That's what I'm going to be camping for the next few days. Or hours, depending on how lucky we get. And I will need five to actually finish off my Awakening there. So that's another thing. Is Now you guys know how to get them, what to look for. How do you actually upgrade them? So you see we have selected over there which ones we want. You go over to Enhance. And you can see these are all the cards. Well, actually, they're showing everything. If you click this little box here, view cards with modification settings. So now it will only show me the cards that I am tracking. Remember I told you before to track them like that so you can see which ones you want. So how do we start upgrading them? So let me show you guys. You need 16 cards overall of one to fully awaken it. Awakening is all of these little diamonds over here. Once you get all five of them out, that card is giving you five points towards the set. So let me go explain that again. So where is our deep dive? You see deep dive there, it shows you 31 when equipped, which means that all of these cards together will give me plus 31 awakening, but that does mean all of them. And you can only equip six at a time. So as this set has seven cards, it's including the bolster as well. So there we go, five, 10, 15, 20, 24, 28. So we need these two to get the 30 over there to then get the plus 30 awakening. So we need to max out the Zinana and we need to max out the Kraus as well. And how you get those is by enhancing them. So why I say you need 16 is because you need to learn the card once. So it unlocks it like it is now. This one of you I have gotten before. And then I have found 15 duplicate cards of him. Once it goes over 15, they'll automatically convert to experience. But we just cl um, yeah, click here and then you enhance. It's going to cost you silver and then you awaken. And each time you awaken, see it only costed one card there. Now we awaken again. So enhance, awaken. This time it costed two cards. And that goes up all the way to plus five. That is why you need so many. See, now we've dropped down to nine cards. This one should use four. Because it's going to plus four. And we enhance it again. And now awaken it. Now it's actually going to be fully awakened. But it did use 15 cards in the process. And then one card to actually learn it in the beginning. So you need 16 overall, 15 once you've opened it once. And now I can untrack that one over there. And we can just click there and click there. And he's gone from the list. He is maxed out. I think that was a you have a plan card. Yeah, there it is right there. I'll show you there 14 when equipped. So same as these three. That's exactly right on the Delane Armin. I need three to get him to three awakening. And then over here for him, we can get him to plus two. And then we'll be missing two more cards to get the plus three because it's going to use one out of no it's going to use two out of there to get to two so i'm only going to have plus one so i'll need two more at least because then i'll need to use all of the plus three so you guys understand what i mean by all of that so for example as inana we have plus one there we need four more as inanas to max her out on that last level so i need four more her and kraus we need two more kraus to max him out so hopefully he comes from the wandering merchant twice and then I'm actually going to maybe use a selection pack on Azinana there. Four selection packs. So unfortunately, it's quite a lot to get her fully maxed out. But that is all I can think about with the cards. This is like probably going to be a long video. I'm not sure how long we've been going now. But yeah, books part. The books part, I'm going to have to make a whole separate video on. Because this is very complicated. Not that complicated. It's a lot easier now that it's all in-game actually showing everything. But yeah, to go through this, it gives you a little bit of damage on everything. See there, demon damage is the most that you want to actually start stacking. Once you have got your cards, uh, your card deck sorted out and awakened to where you want everything. So that's a lot later down the line. Don't worry about this. If you're a mid, even a mid player, even I haven't started worrying about this yet. And I've pretty much done everything up until this point. But uh, yeah, main thing, Light of Salvation, get that one up. Deep Dive, you have a plan. Lost Wind 12, oh Lost Wind, yeah. 
get your lost one to plus 12 for the awakening and then while we're at we might as well show you much later down the line this over here kerzeros's legion commanders is the next best thing after light of salvation this will give us dark damage and i believe the next algarcia is weak to dark damage and maybe a raid or something later on down the line is weak to dark damage but that is the card set everyone's going to be hunting after light of salvation this just comes from all the legion raid commanders as you can see there that's from clown Raushazo, Vikas, Akan, and Bolton. And then Theamine, we don't even have a way to get him yet, as well as Akan, but we can just get him through random packs as well. So that is for much later down the line. Don't worry about that. I've showed you guys everything I know. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, if you didn't understand anything, drop them down below in the comments. Join the Discord as well, trying to build it up. It's pretty quiet in there, trying to get everybody active and talking and asking questions. I love helping out as much as i can thank you guys so much for watching the video if you liked it please drop a like and a sub it helps me out so much and i'll catch you beautiful people in the next one august say now run free and dive into the sky hear the wind crying